Before installing the warm tiles heating cable, use a multimeter to check the resistance of the heating cable and sensor wire. Always check the specification details on the spool sticker tag or the cold lead. In this example, the cable has a resistance of 91.6 ohms. This cable, in our example, is a 240 volt cable and it has red and black cold leads. If you are testing a 120 volt cable, the leads will be white and black. The bare copper wire serves as the grounding conductor. Set your multimeter to ohms, which is a symbol that looks like an inverted horseshoe. Ensure that the test leads are connected to their designated terminals. If your multimeter has a multiple range selector, select the lowest range. To measure the heating cable resistance, connect the two multimeter leads to each of the cold lead conductors. Our meter is showing 92.2 ohms. Record your reading in the Warm Tiles Cable Resistance Log provided in the DFT Cable Guide. Verify that your ohm reading is between 5% below and 10% above the ohms listed on the cold lead tag. Next, making sure there is no contact between the copper ground braid and heating conductors, connect one multimeter lead to the copper ground braid and the other lead to each of the cold lead conductors. The multimeter should display either I for infinity or OL for overload or open circuit. Record this reading in the warm tiles cable resistance log provided in the DFT cable guide. Next, you'll need to use a mega ohm meter to verify the insulation integrity by measuring the heating cable's insulation resistance. Twist the cold lead conductors together and attach the probe lead. Connect the other probe lead to the grounding conductor. Set your mega ohm meter to 500 volts and press the test button. insulation resistance should be 200 mega ohms or higher.